morning. Boy, we are hoping for a good day today to at least hopefully start. Um, I was, I'm actually, I just left there, so I'm, it, I'm an idiot. This is the shit that I deal with, going back and forth. And, um, I gotta go, I'm going in town to go get some stainless take rod, buy an O2 bong for the downpipe so I can put in the air fuel gauge. And then I'm also getting a fitting for the turbo that I forgot I need to drill into the side of the turbo for the max solenoid and all your boost, you know, um, boost gauges and stuff like that. Um, and I'm really hoping that it's gonna be at a point where when he gets out of work today at, I don't know, I think it's five o'clock, he can show up with his tablet and tune and he can start. That would be really, that'd be really awesome. So I'm heading to the store, the parts store, Napa. Uh, I also, I was just there and after putting in the downpipe and marking the location for the O2 bunk, I realized I'm gonna have to move the O2 sensor for bank one to the other side, to the very, very forward. Um, number one runner on the forward manifold. There's a, a bung there as well that is just has a, a, a block off screw in it. So we're gonna switch those around because the oxygen sensor for bank one was going right up in between the downpipe and the runner for I believe number five or six. So I didn't really like that. So we're gonna switch that around, probably get some more heat tape and down it's gonna be awesome so I'll get back with you when I get there and I did I got the water pump and thermostat on up I'm gonna to try to remember to cover that show you the bolts and everything like that motor mounts are fully in um, driver side was super easy passenger side um, wasn't too too bad I guess um, and we'll go from there so I'll catch you in a little bit Okay, we're really hoping and shooting for today is going to be the day that we're going to uh, actually throw the trickle, trickle charger on the battery here probably in a little bit, charge her up and hopefully turn her over. Um, yesterday I got some stuff completed that I didn't really get to video or go through or anything. I got the water pump and thermostat on. Um, water pumps here behind this thermostat hose. There's three bolts, one here, two down here, and this plug that comes from up here, runs down the back side, plugs into it, and then there's a nut for the power for your water pump, and then there's another one down here for the sensor on your thermostat, which I could be a preheater, could be, I forget. Um, and I also chose to, I don't know as if we're gonna do it, this is how we're doing it or not, but obviously you need to relocate your expansion tank. So I'm running the hose that normally runs up here for your tank. I'm gonna run it over here and do something that way. I don't know, I might make them a custom expansion tank. I don't know yet, but for now, I'm hoping I can make something work to close off the cooling system to at least start it up today, put some pressure to it, some oil pressure to it as well, and see how she goes. I got a drill uh, fitting into the turbo so that we can have the best boost readings possible for your max solenoid and boost gauge. Um, I have to relocate, like I said earlier, the O2 sensor, which I did verify the gray one is bank one, which is forward. Um, we're gonna move it to that location right there because let me move this power harness. This is your power harness coming from your trunk from your battery. It's your engine harness, and they both loop over. I think they're, yeah, this is also engine harness, injector harness. Um, this is, I believe, the updated Rob Beck catch can or re I think it was a redirection almost with the upgraded PCV valve that comes out of here into your can. 
and then normally if I'm right there's I don't know why it's not there but this is also something I don't like either this small ass diameter vacuum hose um, there's a piece that goes in between your throttle body and this I believe it's your uh, PCV return system that this hose hooks to to also eliminate any chance of lack of PCV and then with your twins you have this one that plugs in there and goes to your another catch can and then this comes off I actually got to address I don't even really have to address it the only thing I have to worry about is the connector electrical connector for the catch can that was normally on your um, charge pipe for your rear turbo so this was another I believe this one was the oh shit the one that I dumped out that had all the uh, gross condensation in it this one is for your re reroute and then we're gonna have a new power steering that the kit came with and um, I don't know, I'd like, I'm going to readdress all this stuff right here for your mat, for the meth. Uh, also, um, T, or E, excuse me, E, E20 socket. I actually tried to see if I could do it without taking the bracket off and just jacking up on the bottom of the motor. And I already, obviously I took out the bolts on the bottom and the bolt on the top and I try to just jack up see if you can get the motor out motor mount out without removing the bracket you can't it just doesn't go enough so E20s four of them save yourself the time just take it off it's really not that there's nothing connected to it other than I believe this right here which is your fuel line um so that's for your mat uh Excuse me, I forget what that's for. Yeah, your map. That we also do have the upgraded map sensor, if I'm right. I don't remember. There's so much stuff. I haven't touched this in a while. Um, it's been a while since I actually got to work on it again. So yeah, O2 uh, bung. All right. For the air fuel sensor, we are putting on the downpipe. I I am choosing to put it right here so that it can poke out. Something like that, it's about, I don't know, I'd say 12, 14 inches away from your exhaust, which is perfect for your air fuel gauge. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And the reason I don't like, the reason we're rerouting the front oxygen sensor is because it literally goes right between your manifold and um, your downpipe. So we're not going to do that. We're going to move it to the front side. Uh, what else do I gotta do? Uh, let's see, more parts. It feels like I don't get anywhere. So we got oil and some coolant. So that's a good sign that we're getting close to actually starting it. I'm not worrying about the pads, rotors, uh, any of that other stuff until we can put it all together and we can put some runtime to it, a drive cycle, maybe. Uh, air fuel gauge boost gauge, power steering, uh, new can, do something with the cooling, um, remove the oxygen sensor, weld on the bung, you can go right to any parts store, Pet Boys, Napo, O'Reilly's, AutoZone, whatever you have around you, it's just a, a O2 sensor weld bung. And that's what we're doing here. Yeah. So we'll do that. And I also removed this stuff so that we can see better on what we're doing. I gotta actually look up and how to wire these in. I'm assuming you use these here of some sort. And I'm gonna do probably take this tray and open it right up and see what I can do for tucking everything. I don't know, maybe I can tuck it in behind these fuel injectors. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so yeah, fuel pump. 
One, two. We got a little bit of stuff to do today, but I don't see why I can't do it by the end of the day. It's been a late start. Unfortunately, I forgot my TIG wire, which I went and got. I got the weld bung. I got everything. We got these cheesy, I don't know. I, you know just for now. Um, bleed the brakes in the master cylinder for the clutch and hose clamps just in case I need them for rerouting the coolant expansion tank. So this is where we're at. Fuck, I hope it's gonna be a good day and we actually get to turn some Bendix and put it to a flywheel. That'd be really nice. So, I'll catch up with you. Right. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, I missed a lot of stuff. Clearly, I'll cover it tomorrow. I'm super fucking tired. Give it up quick. 